As we stand, we say the entrance antiphon, O sing a new song to the Lord, O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by first calling to mind our sins and asking the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. And Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the celebration of Easter graciously give to the world the healing of heavenly remedies, show benevolence to your church that our present observance may benefit us for eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the following Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and with violent abuse contradicted what Paul said. Both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said, It was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first. But since you reject it and condemn yourselves as unworthy of eternal life, we now turn to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us. I have made you a light to the Gentiles, that you may be an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gentiles were delighted when they heard this and glorified the word of the Lord. All who were destined for eternal life came to believe, and the word of the Lord continued to spread through the whole region. The Jews, however, incited the women of prominence who were worshipers and the leading men of the city, stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas, and expelled them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest against them, and went to Iconium. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All, All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All, All the ends of the earth, earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Almighty God, be in your heart and on your lips, and your claim is holy gospel, worthy and well, for the Father, the 
Son, Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to Jesus, Master, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen. Amen. I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Every time I go outside, uh, Every time, not just during this pandemic, but any time and every time, and I see uh, young people outside that might be riding their bikes, maybe running or just walking or talking or any, any kind of activity, maybe just playing some basketball or some other activities, I'm always delighted. It just delights me to, to see them uh, doing something other than spending time with video games, spending time online and the like, delights me because it tells me there's, there's great, great hope for the up-and-coming generation, that they still recognize the value and that there's no substitute for getting outside, not to get fresh air. That's not why they're out. They are outside to, to play and to be active, to be involved, just even just to be with their friends in person versus being with their friends in line. And instinctually, they know there's just really no substitute. That life is not a spectator sport. It's not. Now, while many of you may agree or nod and say, well, Father, that's, that's obvious. And I don't think it is so obvious. It's not so obvious right now. Right now, for many people, Right now, for you who are viewing online, uh, life is a spectator sport because of really the home confinement that we're experiencing. Uh, even Mass itself here, not being able to gather for public celebration of the Eucharist, it's not the same, nor should it be. Our spiritual life is not a spectator sport. Uh, mass as good as we try to make it right now, is not and never a spectator sport. Yet I, I do hear of people approaching it very much that way. Uh, they are enjoying, maybe you are right now, uh, as I've heard tell, and it kind of shocked me when I heard it, of some, one parishioner commenting about how uh, they're enjoying Sunday Mass in bed. In bed? Get up. We don't do Mass in bed. I've heard from others who say, it's really nice, Father, I can just click pause if I need to go use the restroom or maybe get a snack. Pause. There's no pausing the Mass. There's no pausing our spiritual life. There's no pausing of life itself. Again, uh, it's not a spectator sport. 
Uh, we are to be active and fully engaged. Fully engaged. That's why I even chatting with the children yesterday, uh, doing our online learning, I encouraged them uh, to light a candle when participating, participating, participating online with Mass. Light a candle. Stand when we stand. Kneel when we kneel, if you can, and sit when we sit. To be as actively involved in the spiritual life as one possibly can be, given the current situation, it makes a world of difference. It is the difference between uh, watching something on TV or on the computer or on our smartphone uh, as it is of going outside. Life is not a spectator sport. Our spiritual life is not a spectator sport. Our relationship with Jesus Christ is not a spectator sport. And as if to press the point, even here in our gospel account today, when Philip says, Master, show us the Father, that will be enough for us. That's not enough. It's not even remotely enough. And even our Lord points out the fact, have I been with you for so long a time and you still do not know me, Philip? Philip, what have you been doing for the last three years? Sitting on the sidelines, watching me? Get involved, Philip. Get involved and you won't see the Father, you'll know the Father. Because you'll be with the Father because you will be within me. We're all called to not see God our Father, but to know, love, and serve God our Father. And we do that when we are actively involved in the life of Jesus Christ, such as we see uh, Paul doing in his missionaries, such as we hear him calling others to do, such as we must to do, that it's not enough to witness the faith, but we must live the faith. We must get out and share the faith to share the good news. And you know, yeah, it's, it's going to cost us at times. We'll know that we're really engaged in participating in the faith if people are rejecting us and rejecting it. And we long for and hope for the day when we can be participating in the Eucharist wholly and completely. But until then, we almost do what we can do. And what we can do is to engage the whole of ourselves in celebrating the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. And when we do, indeed, we will know the Lord for who he is. And we'll know the presence of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, not just in church some Sunday yet to come, but in the church of our homes right now, today. Let us now rise and gather the needs of this day and present them to God the Most High. For the Pope and all who serve the people of God, may the Lord help them to persevere in defending the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the God of justice help them in their work of serving their people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Francis Bonamia, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who suffer for the sake of the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our faith community, that we who worship at Christ's altar may be transformed for service in Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our beloved dead. May God welcome them to his heavenly table. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Good and gracious God, bring the needs of this day, those spoken, and those within our hearts, and those yet unknown. We ask that you grant them all through your Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God be forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Stand and pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts. hosts. Heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Let us kneel for the Eucharistic prayer. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death, O Lord, and and profess profess your resurrection resurrection until until you come come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we stand and pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom the power, power, and the glory, glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy that you, that you should, should enter under my roof, my roof but only, only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Father, I wish that where I am, those you gave me may also be with me, that they may see the glory that you gave me. Alleluia.
Let us stand and pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. At uh, 11 a.m. today on Facebook, I will once again uh, be uh, live streaming uh, my Q&A, uh, which is really more A than Q, but I really do want the questions on the subject of the day from uh, those of you who are participating, uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, angels uh, today uh, from 11, 11.30. And it's probably going to be part one of two or maybe three parts. It really kind of depends uh, upon uh, the questions either do or, or don't receive. But uh, today at 11 o'clock, uh, Facebook live streaming, uh, the topic is uh, angels and uh, I encourage you, if you plan to participate, uh, to uh, open your catechism, your Catholic catechism, and, and read uh, the, just a few pages about uh, what the catechism says about angels. I think it's a paragraph, not page, but paragraph like th around 329. That number comes to mind there in the catechism on, on angels. But, but read those few pages. It's a great primer, uh, and I will cover those, uh, those points as well, but it would be better if you're already primed to that. So again, 11 o'clock today on our Facebook page here at St. Monica. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.